वेलकम बैक चिल्ड्रन दिस इज आर एथ वीडियो फॉर चैप्टर एट इकोनॉमी एंड ऑक्यूपेशन एंड टूडे वी आर स्टडिंग इंडस्ट्रीज इन इंडिया यू हैव एन एक्टिविटी ऑन पेज फिफ्टी सेवन ओके वेर इन यू हैव बिन गिवन सर्टन लोगोज एंड यू नीड टू आइडेंटिफाई द लोगोज ओके विच कंपनी डज इट बिलोंग टू वॉट रॉ मटीरियल इट यूज एंड फ्रॉम वेर डज द रॉ मटीरियल कम To answer the third question, you need to refer to the mining part, okay? Because we have studied in detail from where what type of raw material comes, okay? So the first one, I would advise you to pause the video for a little while. Identify some of them are very easily identifiable, so you can identify them and then come back for the video, okay? I'll continue now. So the first one is ONGC, that is Oil and Natural Gas Commission of India. We we need to remember that uh, our economy is of mixed type. So some of the industries are in private sector and some of them are in public sector. Though the investment for oil and natural gas is very high. Okay, we have Indian oil in the public sector, but many other industries for oil and natural gas in private sector as well. For example, we have HP, we have Bharat Petroleum, we have Oil uh, India Limited, we have SR Oil and Gas, we have Reliance Industry Limited. Okay, so these are in the private sector as well. What is the raw material used? Simple oil and natural gas. And from where does it come? We had studied this. Dick Boy in Assam, the Mumbai High, that is the offshores of Mumbai, and in Gujarat we have two places. Do you remember? Yes, Koyali and Kalol in Gujarat. Also at the mouth of Narmada River, uh, sorry, uh, the mouth of River Godavari. Okay, we had uh, oil, sorry, natural gas and mineral oil that is extracted. Okay, so these are uh, the second one is of uh, in uh, steel industry. Okay, Ispat Nigam Limited, that is the steel industry that you see here. Rashtriya Ispat Nigam Limited. Ispat means iron. So this is iron and steel industry. Once again, we have the Indian. The logo uh, here stands for the Rashtriya one, that is the national one. Okay, which is in the uh, public sector, but there are many. uh iron and steel industries also in the private sector for example the tata steel that you see here okay then visa steel sail steel sr steel etc jindal steel etc so these are in the private sector as well then the logos that are given here are mainly from the public sector but we have these industries in the private sector as well the third the rashtriya the same one now iron and steel the raw material is iron or okay and if you remember we had studied the chota nagpur plateau in jharkhand is famous for iron extraction not only iron but even other types of minerals that are extracted okay besides it the adjoining areas that is orissa chatisgarh and even eastern maharashtra we had studied and tamil nadu that is salem in tamil nadu i have put another picture here Okay, so these are the places. If you remember, this was the Chota Nagpur Plateau that we studied here. Okay, which is famous for um, mining and the adjoining area. So here we have Chhattisgarh, here we have Orissa, here we have Vishakhapatnam. Okay, also on eastern Maharashtra we do have iron ore extracted, but not to a large scale. And Salem that you can see here in Tamil Nadu. The next one, I'm sure all of you have seen this. ओके अमूल दूध पीता है इंडिया आरे दूध भी पीता है इंडिया ओके सो दिस इज आरे मिल्क दिस लोगो फॉर आरे दूध ओके विच इज रन बाय द गवर्नमेंट बट देर आर मेनी इंडस्ट्रीज विच आर इन द मिल्क इंडस्ट्रीज विच आर इन द प्राइवेट सेक्टर एज वेल लाइक अमूल दूध ओके सो हियर यू हैव द डेरी इंडस्ट्री द रॉ मटीरियल बींग मिल्क द मेजर मिल्क प्रोड्यूसिंग रीजन इज गुजरात Okay so I have put a little information here if you would like to find out why they have used this now this is the two if you see the uh, logo these are two hands okay and a drop of milk in between the two hands that is holding uh, by these two hands the next one is Chittaranjan locomotive works okay and here these are the train engines 
locomotives that are constructed mainly it's a heavy industry so under public sector but there are a few companies again which do manufacture engines okay in the private sector so electric electric locomotive industry raw material required is mainly iron ore again the same places of uh, chatisgarh jharkhand that is the chota nagpur plateau west bengal uh, orissa salem in tamil nadu these are the places from where we get the raw material for this industry the next one is agro industry maharashtra krishi udyog vikas mahamandal maryadit okay so the maharashtra now we need to remember that every state has got these industries in their public sectors okay and normally we have a minister looking after like we have railway minister we have uh, for the state as well so this one of course we are talking about maharashtra krishi udyog but similarly we will have gujarat we will have in every state so that's agro industry the maharashtra agro industry development corporation limited the symbol or rather the logo here belongs to the maharashtra agro industries raw material agricultural material agricultural products and even chemicals i would not say much of chemicals will come here because we do have another industry for chemicals so agro products agricultural products this one particularly in maharashtra the next one khadi and village industrial commission raw material is khadi that's cotton wool from maharashtra and gujarat mainly major producers of cotton then regions for this khadi and village industries of course uh, it comes the raw material comes from maharashtra gujarat that much is more than enough this is another picture for khadi and village industry commission okay a little more information if you would like to go through it and the next one is sericulture sericulture is silk worm farming okay so the raw material is silk worm and mulberry leaves and mainly silk comes from karnataka we also have sericulture industries in maharashtra as i told you the public sector is based in every state then central silk board ministry of textile government of india okay we do have sericulture industry in private sector as well and the last one is rashtriya chemical and fertilizer therefore i said in agro based industries we will not write chemicals as raw material here we have chemical and fertilizers limited which is in the public sector undertaking of india under the ministry of chemicals and fertilizers of government of india based mainly in mumbai okay but once again this is in mixed economy we have uh, chemicals and fertilizers also in uh, private sector okay but the logos here belong to the public sector okay so with this we stop we'll come back with industries very soon bye bye take care and god bless you